Hello guys, this is Jay from JCAD. I'm recording a video to talk about Asbel drawings. Uh, we've been doing a lot of these recently for our uh, customers and I figured a quick video would be very helpful to talk about these set of drawings to our customers, our partners and our team members as well. So let's get into it. What are Asbel drawings? Uh, essentially, these drawings document the existing conditions of a property or a structure um, and it basically shows how it actually looks like on site. Um, it goes by a lot of na uh, a lot of names. People call it as built survey, uh, existing conditions plans, or also let's say like existing blueprints. Um, often people request these kind of drawings because the property owner or the property manager doesn't have records. Uh, or blueprints of how the building was built originally. So they would basically call an as built company like ourselves here um, to basically go on site, uh, measure the building, uh, document it, and take notes as well, and then reflect the existing conditions in a set of drawings. Um, and I have here a set of drawings open in front of me uh, that you can see. Um, I would like to show you like a standard as built set that is often like. Um, that is often uh, ordered or like people requested basically for their projects. Uh, our customers usually are either architects, interior designers, engineers, uh, property managers, and they request it for all reasons. They do either architecture projects, interior design projects. Uh, sometimes it's something as simple as uh, just moving a wall or replacing a window or a door. And other times it's um, to do like a new furniture layout if an interior designer is involved. So they want to see something as simple as a floor plan. Or if the work is more involved and there's like an, an addition, for example, or interior modeling, then a detailed like as-built set is requested. So here we go. Um, let's start talking about it. So what I have here in front of me is actually a roof plan. Uh, and it's showing how the building looks like from the top and we have here like a simple outline of the property lines as we can find in records. Uh, I'm going to move to the next page here. You can see we have a floor plan and in this floor plan you can see we document uh, a lot of different information, mainly the architectural elements such as the the walls, doors, uh, and windows. Uh, we're also calling out the spaces names, for example, bedroom one, bedroom two, uh, we're also calling out the doors and the window sizes because it's very helpful for the the designers or anybody involved in this project. Uh, we're also showing the uh, layout of the bathroom. We usually also show the kitchen layout. These are really helpful for everyone involved. Um, and you can see here we have steps and whatnot. And we have the ceiling height called out. Uh, moving on to the next page uh, is where we show the exterior elevations of the building and usually like depending on the building you would show usually four elevations from each side from the building um, so as you can see this is this shows like the doors the windows the roof and the fireplace and some openings we have so depending on the scope of the project um, the detail of these drawings will vary but this is generally um, a standard set of as-built drawings. Hopefully this video is helpful. Thank you.